If you could see Saturn's magnificent rings up close, you would see they are nothing more than chunks of ice and rock encircling the giant in a swirling wind that's capable of reaching 1800 kilometers per hour. They can range from a grain of sand to the size of a house. These rings make Saturn one of the most beautiful planets in our solar system. But unfortunately, Saturn is losing its rings at an alarming rate. The planet will lose its entire ring structure within the next 100 million years. Although it may sound like an eternity, it's just a fraction compared to the 4 billion year history of the planet. But one question that often comes to our minds is why only Saturn has such prominent rings of all the planets in the solar system. Of course, we have discovered ring systems around Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, but they are very faint and insignificant compared to Saturn's rings. So how did Saturn get its rings in the first place? Astronomers believe that for millions of years in the past, Saturn didn't have rings at all. Instead, it had a big moon revolving around it. The moon came extremely close to Saturn due to the giant's enormous pull. Doing so, it traveled faster and faster around the planet. Saturn's immersed gravitational pull and the moon's fast motion caused the moon to get pulled into two directions at once. Eventually, the moon broke into several pieces, and these pieces spread around the planet into a flattened donut-shaped disk made of ice and rock. Further, the chunks of the broken moon kept smashing into each other and made a lot of powdery dust and snow. Some of these chunks fell onto Saturn, some floated off into space, and the remaining led to the magnificent ring system of Saturn. Moreover, Saturn's broken moon is not the only one that contributed to the formation of rings. Even the asteroids interacting with the planet's moons have played a significant role in their formation. When the fast approaching asteroids collided with the moons, the remnants of the asteroids and all debris from the moons that formed due to the impact could not escape the planet's gravitational pull and eventually became a part of the ring system. Apart from this well-adapted theory, another theory has made rounds for a long time. It states that some of the materials of the rings could be from earlier times, when the solar system was forming. Possibly, Saturn could not accrete all the material while it was forming, and it is this material that has been in its orbit ever since in the form of rings. Saturn's ring system extends up to 282,000 kilometers from the planet with the vertical height being typically about 10 meters in the main rings. The rings have been named alphabetically in the order they were discovered. So starting at Saturn and moving outwards, the D ring, C ring, and B ring, then Cassini division, a 4,700 kilometers wide width, separating ring B from ring A. After A lies the F ring, G ring, and finally, the E ring. Then much farther, there lies a very faint Phoebe ring in the orbit of Saturn's moon Phoebe. Although the rings are relatively close to each other, interestingly, they orbit at different speeds around the planet. As I mentioned earlier, Saturn is not the only planet in our solar system surrounded by rings. Although it has the most prominent one, all of the gas giants in our solar system have rings around them. However, those rings are smaller and darker in appearance than Saturn's mighty rings. Saturn's rings are composed mostly of different ices, making them appear in bright colors when the sunlight falls on them. On the other hand, the rings around Jupiter and Neptune are much darker dust particles and small pieces of rock, making them much less noticeable. Uranus has a ring of rocks that range from less than a meter to 20 meters in diameter. Even Mars is expected to have rings in the future. Phobos, the largest of the two Martian moons, is slowly coming closer to Mars in its orbit. Eventually, Mars' gravity will rip Phobos apart, and then the fabric of the moon's body will form a ring around the red planet. 
the Cassini space probe made detailed observations while diving through the space between Saturn and its rings during its grand finale in 2017. Astronomers continue to analyze the data sent by the spacecraft to learn more about the structure and the composition of the rings. Undoubtedly, Saturn's rings are one of the few natural wonders of the entire solar system. Share this video with your friends and follow us for more content on physics and astronomy. If you're interested in studying astrophysics at home, make sure to check out our Basics of Astrophysics series, the link to which is given in the description. This series explains everything at the most fundamental level, from the EM spectrum to telescopes, and from the birth of stars to the formation of black holes and galaxies.